All right, here in Oakville, how many people are here from Oakville tonight? Put your hands on. Let me hear you make some noise. Hey, make some noise, you're from Oakville. Oh, you're not very proud of it. Really make some noise if you're from Oakville. If there's one thing, if there's one thing I love about this city, this town, this town, is that this street is lay, lay, this is absolutely jam full of restaurants. We got Oliver's over there. I think they got French cuisine. What else we got? We got the Rude Native Bistro. They do West Indian, you've seen them. Paradiso, Mediterranean food. We have a pub up the street. We have an Italian restaurant right over there. You know we don't have? We don't have a Canadian restaurant. Have you ever even heard of Canadian food? You go to Italy, is there the Canadian district? No. If you go to New York, is there the Canadian district? No. You'll never find it if you go to Sweden. You're never gonna find it if you go to the Czech Republic. Folks, I got a problem here. I think, I think that we as Canadians have no food identity. Everyone's had a pizza pie, a hot dog nachos and french fries. Lined up for hamburgers and bread worse. And it's gone to Chinese food for days until we burst. Now this dilemma we Canadians face each day. As we stuff ourselves, I'm afraid to say. It is nothing short of a catastrophe. We have no food identity. What we have is fried potato wedges. and called it delicious. Who knew? We didn't visit it by presidents, popes, and queens. Been introduced to international cuisines like borscht, wonton, schnitzel, and snail. Souvlaki and those eating bitty birds called quail. Despite this invaluable education, Fried potato, potato wedges with gravy and cheese. It's a routine of food that clogs our arteries. Maple syrup and back bacon, all right. With a glass of pomato on a hot summer night. All right. The city's early food exotic restaurants. Offering Japanese sushi, Chinese Szechuan. We got shawarmas at the Lebanese joint. But no authentic Canadian, that's my point. Oh, how the multitudes lust for a taco. Or a salad made wildly at the bottom in April. 